okay now in this class we are going to discuss about uh, uh, single movable pulley all right so single movable pulley is the pulley in which the pulley is going to move all right in the uh, uh, previous class we studied about single fixed pulley where the pulley was fixed but here the pulley is going to move so this is a setup of single movable pulley so here the load is attached with the uh, frame okay uh, earlier the uh, load was attached itself in the rim but now the one part of the rim a thread is being passed through the rim one part of the rim is being fixed and the other from the other part of the rim you have to apply uh, an effort and the load is being fixed at the frame now when the this system is not moving at all it is static so when it is a static and it is at rest so in that case effort will be equal to tension as you can see again the tension are in the upward direction only the tensions will always be in the upward direction itself so effort is equals to tension this is equation number 1 now this load is being lifted by two tensions in the string one this tension another is this tension it means the load this load is being balanced by these two tensions so load is equals to tension plus tension so load is equals to two tension okay now this is equation number 2 this is equation number 1 so we divide 2 by 1 so if we divide 2 by 1 what will happen l upon e is equals to 2t upon t l upon e we know that it is mechanical advantage so this is mechanical advantage ma 2t upon t t goes of 2 now whenever for a machine mechanical advantage is greater than 1 so in that case the machine acts like a force multiplier so in this case it is a force multiplier why it is a force multiplier because the load <coughs> in this case the load is more as compared to the effort so by applying a less effort or by applying a less amount of force you are up, uh, you are lifting up a load uh, uh, which is more than the effort okay so this is a force multiplier it means it is multiplying your force so you are applying a less amount of effort to lift up a load of uh, more uh, uh, amount all right so this is mechanical advantage is equals to 2 it is force multiplier we also know that ma is equals to d by dl now this is an interesting situation to understand ma is equals to d by dl obviously in this case load and effort are both are equal so how can ma be uh, equal to 2 because ma is equals to load upon effort so if there is uh, we cannot see any factor of 2 here which makes up this mechanical advantage is 2 but still mechanical advantage is 2 how is the how is this possible so it it uh, this whole scenario is being created by this thing mechanical advantage is equals to distance moved by the effort to the distance moved by the load so basically what is happening to make this factor 2 to make this factor 2 which we can see here what we need we need either our effort to be double of the load it means the distance moved by the effort should be the double of the distance moved by the load itself so de distance moved by the effort has to be 2d and then distance moved by the load will be d so it means distance moved by the effort is twice the distance moved by the load all right so vr is equals to d by dl now how much is d d is 2d upon d so it goes off 2 eta is equals to ma upon vr which is 2 by 2 cancels 1 or 100 percent so this is how we calculated ma vr and efficiency of a single movable pulley now we'll uh, do the same thing with the help of an activity as well all right today we will calculate ma vr and efficiency of a single movable pulley through an activity so you can see the load is at zero mark okay and the effort arm is at 43 approximately the thread which i am holding all right now what we are going to do i am going to put uh, some effort to lift up the load using the single movable pulley as you can see the pulley will also move here the pulley will also move so i'm starting it so you can see the pulley is moving along with the load itself okay so i'm going to stop approximately at 86 or 87 why uh, because that would be double of uh, 43 
so it is approximately at 86 now we will look at where the load is resting now so the load is resting approximately at uh, 20 I believe at yeah so it is approximately around 22.5 okay so this is 22.5 or approximately 22 right okay okay now the initial position of the load is was at 0 centimeter then the final position of the load was at 22.5 centimeter which is the approximate value it is not the exact value which is also expected during experiment as well okay now the initial position of the effort was 43 centimeter and the final position of the effort was 86 centimeter now we know that ma is equals to de upon dl so ma that is mechanical advantage is obviously 86 minus 43 this would be in centimeter by 22.5 minus 0 centimeter so ma is equals to this would be 43 centimeter upon 22.5 centimeter so as you can see the above value is just approximate of this or in fact it is uh, double of the value which is here that is the double of uh, uh, this value approximately okay so it will be a round off it will be 2 all right although this value will come a little bit greater than this but that is quite ac acceptable all right because uh, as you uh, saw in the experiment also we don't expect the exact values uh, to be coming all right but uh, the point which i am going to make here is that uh, this value would be greater than 1 for sure because this is 22.5 okay so double of 22.5 is approximately 45 so this value is going to be uh, greater than 1 so if ma is greater than 1 then in that case the machine is going to act like a force multiplier now you know that vr would be the same because vr is also uh, d by dl and if i calculate the efficiency so that would be ma upon vr into 100 percent so which would be this 2 by 2 and would be 100 percent or 1 all right so now we whatever we did uh, through theoretically through theory now we have proved it experimentally as well that the ma of a single movable pulley is greater than 1 okay although it is 2 but experimentally we couldn't find it uh, due to the experimental error which is quite acceptable as well all right thank you